My name is Matthias Zabachise and I'm going to tell you about a speech that I made about kids. So, the other day I was thinking, what do I make my speech about? And then I remembered that June 1st is a child care day, so why don't I make a speech about kids? I was thinking, what positive things can I say? There's a lot, so my speech will be so long. So, I decided why not tell everyone what I really think and why not tell everyone the negative things about how kids change. So, let's start. The kids have this period at the age to 10 to like 18 where the, their psychology, their anatomy, everything changed. So, I'm going to talk about how overreacting they are. So, when, let's make different sides. What kids are kids and teens, teenagers. So, when kids want a new doll, how they act? Hello, Mommy. Can I have a new doll? I've been a really good girl, so I want a new doll. <laughs> okay, sweetie, we'll get you a new doll. How do the teenagers act? <laughs> Mom, I want a new iPhone. That costs $2,500. <laughs> I know you didn't love me. I'm useless. Okay, sweetie, I will get you a new iPhone. What color do you want? Black. That's my soul. <laughs> so, I was thinking, why? Okay, now, one day I was so tired. I got school, from school to home and I get my phone and anyway, swipe through Facebook or social media and see posts. Codes about love. Codes about depression. Codes about heartbreaking. So, and now, I was like, okay, let's check one post. Nine-year-old Chelsea. Love is really, really powerful emotion. <laughs> that can make your saddest and the happiest people on earth. And I was like, let's see comments. Maybe there's some good stuff in the comments. So, five year old, no, five, not five. Ten-year-old Elizabeth, you go, girl. It's your 17th breakup already, but you handled it really good. I'm proud of you. Then, it looks like nine-year-old Alicia. I'm really proud of you, girl. 100% true. Do you want to know what I was thinking about when I was a nine-year-old girl? Are the zebras white or with black stripes or with black stripes? <laughs> Long story short, I would give advice to kids. Guys, act like kids because you really are one. Right. Thank you. Hello, my name is Salome Gassitate. Uh, Today I'm uh, thinking what I can talk. So I decided to talk about love. Uh, I do not think love for a boy and girl. I say about how my family I love. So I said, love. Love is an incredibly powerful word. That is a feeling that we have said yes. Love means that you do everything for them. You want to be with them every second of the day. You hate saying goodbye. But true love really does love without trying to change person, without repairing anything or exchange. That is it truly forever. Love is not only word. When I say I love you, it is only word. But when you have that feeling, it's more deep and more important. When you love your family, you do everything for your family to be them happy. Many uh, families, parents are happy when you are happy too. For your health, for your good stuff, what you do. So I think every uh, kid, every person, every maybe old player too, think about what is love and do everything for them, for your family, for your friends, and for everyone, for the country. Thank you.
Yes. Hello, my name is Sabachi Plazi and I'm from the 8th class. Um, well, we have already talked about love, but I want to talk about love's negative sides. Well, yeah, love, um, for many people, it's a sign to freedom and peace. And it's a strong bond which keeps two persons together. Yeah, but for me, it's not like that. Love is for me um, with negative sides like people committing suicides just because they love someone and that person doesn't love them. Um, this is a really um, bad thing because um, each year, um, 800,000 yeah, 800, people are suiciding themselves and more than 40,000 yeah, 40, of them are from America. Um, this means that each person is dying every 14 seconds okay. and um, also love is um, if someone loves anyone and his heart is broken or her heart is broken then they get some um, physical and mental problems they can't communicate well they fall in depression and depression is the number one reason of people committing suicide also love we don't know the phrase love is blind but Trust me, love is making much worse things than only blinding your eyes. It's making you slave, it's caging you. And it's not mostly hard to fail in love, it's hard to get out of this class. Yeah, that's what I think. And this and many other reasons is why love is one of the number one biggest um, diseases in the world. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Anna Lashke, 15 years old, and today I'm going to talk about technology. We all know that nowadays uh, one of the most important inventions is technology. And it has too many bad sides, but also it has good sides. And first I will start with good sides. It has that we can search uh, what we want uh, and it will tell us everything in minutes. Uh, but in 19th century on or uh, many years ago, people were uh, searching, um, were trying, uh, sorry, uh, people were looking for uh, something and they were. Um, Spend a lot of time. Spend a lot of time, but now technology is good to uh, search something in minutes, and but it has too many bad sides. Uh, one of them is that kids change uh, are changed, and uh, we're dependent on it. For example, I am dependent on the phone. If I don't see my phone, uh, I am very nervous, and many children are like that. And uh, people are very angry for that, and their health are in danger, for example. And uh, what? <laughs> Thank you. because I wasn't really going to participate in this competition so I'm just going to talk about the same thing I talked about when I was with Maya teacher in Sadovo and that is love uh, my fellow students already talked about it but still so um, love is a powerful emotion for which there is no wrong definition love is what, love is what great writers write about great singers sing about and great philosophers ponder uh, each person takes love differently. For example, there is love for family, friends, lovers, or just anything. So, what, um, love is an overwhelming emotion that can be experienced in many different ways. And, for example, in my opinion, I think that people experience love for the very first time by being a part of a family. Family love is demonstrated through lessons of sacrifice, concern, and compassion from prayer to the grave. Um, it's just uh, so parents' love for a child can also be considered as love at first sight. 
uh, you just have to look at the pride and excitement on many on the faces of many parents to be when they just uh, see their first cows, feel their baby kick for the very first time, and this kind of emotion is uh, very powerful and it uh, can be experienced with both parents or maybe siblings or just any kind of relatives. So in a um, love between uh, two per uh, two people is really. Um, True love between two people is really uncommon. Like uh, true love can only be found in novels, fairy tales. In other words, uh, very few people get uh, are lucky enough to find true love in their lives. So um, yeah, that's really uncommon. And like we were all created by God in His image and likenesses and we were all created just for one thing, to feel and to live our life to 